Tearless time, baby! Guys, if you aren't already, please make sure to sub to the goddamn YouTube. Look at all the subs. See? Look at everybody everybody in the chat. Look, look at the subs. If you haven't already, please make sure to sub. A lot of people in my YouTube haven't subbed. I have like a 90 to 10% ratio or something like that. Make sure to sub to the YouTube. Tonight we are doing a minor inconvenience tier list. You can't find the TV remote. This is a very, very minor inconvenience. If you can't find the TV remote, this is your own fault. Like you should just know where it is. In my opinion, people should have a place for everything. If you don't have a place for this kind of stuff, then you just don't know what you're doing. As you get older, your life gets to be a little bit more like compacted and you, you know where things are better. Like you don't have your dad and your mom and your sister and your brother necessarily living with you anymore. You might, there's nothing wrong with that. But if you don't, then you know where things are because you know where you put them. This is a, a non thing for the most part. It sucks when you can't find it, but if you have a small place, then it should be easy. It goes into a D tier. Next up we have captchas. I fucking hate these things. I don't like the newer ones they have with all the little things and stuff where you have to click constantly if you fuck this up once it's gonna send you to another one it pisses me off it's so annoying i miss the old captures where you just click on it and says i'm not a robot and you're good to go the worst ones the worst captures though are the ones where you have to enter the numbers and letters and shit like that and they're all different sizes like like some of them are uppercase some of them are lowercase i'm gonna put these things in a oh let's put them in an eight here this is when you put on a brand new fresh pair of socks and then you walk in water i hate when my feet get wet. There is nothing worse than feet wet. Dude, it's just so annoying. I used to play soccer when I was a kid and every time it rained, my feet would get soaked and I wanted to end it all. You know what? I'm actually gonna put this in S. Now that I think about it, it's so fucking annoying. So this is mustard water. When you squeeze mustard and then like you get that little bit of water right at the beginning. This is very avoidable. Shake the fucking mustard. We all done that thing where we go up to the sink and we squirt the mustard water out just in case, just to be safe. You don't get that stupid goddamn mustard water on your bread because that shit makes your sandwich all goddamn soggy. You do these steps before. One, take the mustard bottle out. Two, shake it right away. Just like this, okay? Three, put the mustard in the sandwich. You're good. This goes into a C. It is annoying. I do, I did like it. Now we have a brain freeze. Another very avoidable, unfortunate thing. I hate brain freezes, just like everybody. And they sneak up on you. You don't quite know when they're coming and all of a sudden you're like drinking and you're like, bam, you got that brain freeze and it hurts like goddamn hell. Okay, they are avoidable so they're probably not gonna be up here as much. This one, I'm gonna put in a B tier. I'm gonna put it like a mid tier. Now we have when you try to open your pop and the little tab breaks. I've had it happen multiple times because I have big goober hands and I like way too strong. And sometimes I just snap that bitch right in half. Then you have to hit it with something and then you miss and you slip and you hit your hand. It is avoidable and it doesn't happen very often, but when it does happen, it's really fucking shitty. You just feel like an idiot. You feel like you're sitting there with an unopened can of pop and you're like, what the fuck is this shit? We're gonna put this bad boy also in like the B tier. We have self checkouts. I hate self checkouts. They piss me off so fucking much. But the nice thing about them is they're avoidable. You don't have to use them. They're just, there, just in case. In case you have like five items. You can just quickly ring them through, you're done. But when they stop working, that's when they piss you off. I'm gonna put them in like a C. I fucking hate not being able to sleep. This is unavoidable. This happens every fucking night. Who else goes to sleep and you just can't sleep? No matter what you try. When you try to sleep, it is the worst thing because then you sleep even less. Because it happens to be every goddamn night. This has to go in S. The worst part about a porta potty is the one ply toilet paper. Every single fucking porta potty I've ever been into has the shittiest, worst toilet paper I've ever experienced in my fucking life. They are very inconvenient. I should know. I work in construction and every single construction site, 99% of them, anyways, have these things and they're so fucking gross they got shit written all over them they suck dude and they're tight for me i'm six foot six 300 pounds you really think i'm fitting in either a a bathtub or b a porta potty properly no i'm gonna put them at the top of a now we have the old too small of shirt when you're a big dude like me six foot six 300 ish pounds Finding shirts that are big enough for you is really difficult, especially in the length. Now, what they don't tell you about when they make bigger shirts is that they, when they make bigger shirts, they just make them bigger this way, right? Wideness. They don't make them bigger this way. So this happens to me constantly. This goes to me in an A. I hate that shit. I hate it so much. Now we have getting stuck in traffic. When you get older, 
you start driving consistently. Getting stuck in traffic absolutely fucking sucks. Awful experience getting stuck in traffic. I want to punch my fucking window out. Land Vancouver area has a consistently bad traffic all the fucking time. God, I hate it. This, for me, goes into the S. Now we got getting stuck in multiple traffic lights. This sucks, but traffic lights are like 10 seconds. It's not like getting stuck in traffic. Getting stuck in traffic is much different than this. This sucks, but at least you're with the flow of traffic most of the time. It can be annoying, don't get me wrong. It definitely can be. This, to me, because it is kind of unavoidable and it is really annoying, it's gonna go into a high B. This is when you have a sneeze, but you lose it. Everybody's gone to sneeze, and then all of a sudden it's just like, ah, ah, and then it's gone. Fuck, I hate that feeling. Sneezing can be an orgasmic experience. Sneezing can be like a sexual experience sometimes. Or you can have a sneeze that puts your back out. But either way, I don't think anybody dislikes a good sneeze. When you lose a sneeze, that's like that's like losing an orgasm. You just edged for like six weeks. Same thing. Goes into the ass. I fucking hate this feeling. But now we have buffering videos. Let's get better internet, bro be a bitch this sucks for sure 100 percent. but like if you have shit internet just don't watch videos read a book jerk off i don't know do anything else just it's not that bad it's not that fucking bad um now we have the trash bag ripping on you when you go to take it out when you go to take the garbage out and you get that little rip and then you start dripping garbage juice or like the garbage falls out completely god damn that pisses me off you could just buy better garbage bag. like they are a little bit more expensive and it is worth it to buy better garbage bags, but it is fucking annoying. I'm gonna put it in an A tier. It's not quite S, I don't think. Um, now we have people who merge without using their blinker. Fuck you. Literally fuck yourself. You are the worst person. Most of the time, people who do this are driving BMWs or Mercedes or like some kind of really expensive car, and they feel like they're better than everybody else. Literally fuck yourself if you don't use your blinker. It's dangerous. Sometimes I get it. If you're just merging on like a zipper and stuff like that, it's not too bad because you know people are merging in. Everybody drives for the most part in North America once you get old enough. And you'll find out when you start driving, not having people use their blinker. Fuck that sucks, dude. The, the thing about it is you can't do any. It's unavoidable. It's in other people's hands. These people are the worst people, dude. Fuck these people. It goes an S. The one that I didn't include that I wanted to was phone battery being low and not being able to charge it. I hate to say it, but just charge your fucking phone. Buy one of these, dude. Buy a power tube. They're like $20. And they're portable. You can take them with you. You can put them in your pocket. Just buy a portable charger if your phone has low battery. It's super easy. It goes probably into like a, a B tier. Because it does suck. Don't get me wrong. If you're unable to have a charger and your phone battery is low, definitely sucks. That is the tier list. That is my annoying, inconvenient things tier list. If you like this video, please fucking like it. Comment, subscribe, all that YouTuber shit. What is the thing that annoys you the most? Thank you guys. I appreciate you. Situated rotations